Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 19 on page 75. At what point on the graph of y equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5 is the tangent parallel to 2x minus y equal to 1? Step 1, if you highlight one of the keywords parallel in the function 2x minus y equal to 1, the first step is to find the slope. If you think about 2x minus y equal to 1, you can isolate for y. If you bring negative, or if you bring 2x to the right-hand side, that becomes negative 2x plus 1. The opposite of multiplying by negative 1 is to divide by negative 1, so y equals to 2x minus 1. This means the slope is going to be 2. Step 2. Once you find the slope, you can now move on to find the general slope of y equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. And again, don't forget the first principle. The limit as h is approaching to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. In this case, when you plug it in, this will give you the limit as h is approaching to 0 of x plus h quantity square minus 4 times x plus h minus 5 minus, open a bracket, x square minus 4x minus 5, close the bracket, all over h. Again, as you're doing this, you have one specific goal. h would divide by h, and when that happens, you're in the second last step of finding the general slope. When expanding the top, this would give you x squared plus 2 times x times h plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 5 minus x squared plus 4x plus 5. When you collect like terms, x squared minus x squared, you can cross it out. Likewise, negative 4x, positive 4x, negative 5, and positive 5. When you think about the common factor in the numerator, you write down the limit as h is approaching to 0. Bring the h to the front. Inside the brackets, it's going to be 2 times x plus h minus 4. The fact that you can cross out h divided by h is an indicator that you're doing it right. Back to step one, you plug in h to be zero, which means the general slope is going to be 2x minus 4. Now, the question says, at what point? So you want to find x, y. And the goal is to look at the general slope and you look at the specific slope, and you make them equal, and you solve for x. So this means 2 equals to 2x minus 4. When you bring negative 4 to the left, that's 2 plus 4, which is going to be 6. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2, so x is going to be 3. Again, to find a point, you have to go back and find y. You have to plug it back to f of x, which means y equals to 3 squared minus 4 times 3 minus 5. This would give you 9 minus 12 minus 5, which is negative 8. Therefore, the point x, y is going to be 3, negative 8. I hope this makes sense.